Hi everybody, my name is Jim and welcome back to another episode of The Lake Effect Gardener. It's time for an October tour. Yes, we have reached the end of the month. It is Halloween weekend. And I believe for my British friends, this is the very last weekend of British summer. I can't believe we're already at this point. And next week marks the weekend where daylight savings kicks in, which means we have to put our clocks back an hour here in the States, which means one thing to me, it's going to be dark at like 5.30. <laughs> A lot of my friends are like, oh, yay, we get an extra hour to sleep in. And I'm just, I, I just, this time of year really gets me down because it gets dark so early. But I know this is just the beginning of it and pretty soon, you know, we'll be on the steady climb as we, you know, reach the winter solstice and I'll begin my spring countdown. I mean, who's kidding me? Who's kidding? I'm, I'm already starting my spring countdown, <laughs> but I have been feverishly trying to get my garden and my yard and everything put to rest. And it has not been very easy because it has just been pouring. It has been so wet here. Just deluge, deluge of rain constantly. And so we get these little pockets of, you know, sunny weather. And of course, it's always when I'm at school. <laughs> and so I get home and I literally have about two hours before the sun sets and, you know, I'd be working in the dark and it's not very convenient, but never mind. I did get the whole vegetable garden, for the most part, put to bed. Literally getting home, scrambling, changing my clothes, getting out into the yard, doing as much as I possibly can in the very small window of time that I have. But like I said, honestly, it really has been super, super wet. It is very muddy underfoot today, even though we've had a couple of days of nice weather. And it is today quite a beautiful day. There was frost on the rooftops this morning when I got up. It was pretty cold. It was in the mid 30s, which is <laughs> it made it up to about 60 today. Um, but there still is a chill in the air. It's 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 a late autumn 60 degrees. So it doesn't really feel that way. So what have I been doing on those really, really wet days? Well, I have been working on some of my projects and I just wanted to show you what my latest projects are my latest project that is and they're still on the needles I'm almost done but I made these hand warmer type of things okay they're not done I still have a lot of finishing to do even on this completed one but what I love about these is that they are perfectly sized <laughs> to my hands which are rather large they're super warm. This is fisherman's wool and they're super, super duper cozy and they do cover my fairly large hands, but I also made sure to do an extra long cuff. Okay. Because most of my sleeves on most of the garments that I wear are entirely too short because I have arms like a baboon. <clears throat> so I'm really happy about these. I really just have a little bit left. I just have to finish this thumb and I'm going to have some lovely warm, cozy hands, which is going to be just the ticket because things are really going to start to cool down. I think this is really our last really kind of mild-ish day, I don't know, for the foreseeable future. Makes me sad, but that's okay. But we're not here for that. We're here for the October tour. So let us venture outside. You can see all the work that I've been doing 
it's been a lot and a very short amount of time. Still lots to do. I still have to put my convertible to bed and I still have to, there's like grass I have to cut and there's still a lot that needs to be chopped down and composted and things like that. But the veg garden is pretty much done. So without further ado, let's go up onto the roof of the garage and take a look at what the garden looks like at the end of October. so bare <laughs> oh so I just want to share the fact that this is really the first autumn that I have managed to get into the veg garden and really clean things up usually I'm just like so busy and and the weather changes and usually I, I usually you know I end up not getting to it so this is the first time I've actually gotten through everything, managed to get as much as I can done. And I have to say, it's really bittersweet because usually my cleanup, my major cleanup happens in the spring. So as I'm cleaning up the garden, I'm thinking to myself, oh, <laughs> I feel like I should be planting seeds right now. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. I'm really happy that things are put to bed. So let's go over to the pergola area. Still have a lot more cleanup to do, but you'll see it all. Let's go over to the pergola area and I'm just gonna give you the quick walkthrough and then a little trip into the polytunnel. All right. So yes, a lot of cleanup and clean out has happened. The, the brick path is pretty well open now. Um, a lot of the annuals have been removed for the most part over here. I still have a lot more to clean up over here in this region. Still some zinnias that need to be pulled. I got most of them and managed to get quite a few seed heads. So I definitely have my seed stock for next year. And you can see through here, I've managed to pull a number of the goldenrod out, but it's looking very bare. <laughs> I still have to dig up my um, my dahlias. Okay, I'm gonna do that very, very soon. But for the most part, yeah, it's looking pretty empty. Very sad, very sad indeed. I still have to go through and take care of all of this. Chop it all back. Oh, so much to do. So, here we go. I know there's a lot of leaves here, but um, there's some weeds in here that still need to be taken care of. I really haven't touched these too much. Uh, and I still have quite a bit of veg growing here still, so my chard is still going strong. My kale really has been enjoyed by something. I don't think I'll be enjoying any of that kale this winter but there's still plenty of chard to be had and I need to come in through here and harvest some of my thyme and my oregano and and my rosemary which oddly enough is flowering interesting interesting so I'm gonna harvest a bunch of that I'm gonna try rooting some of it so that I can keep some on my windowsill during the winter months um, and then I'll dry the rest to have my garlic has started to pop up. You can't see it through this mess. Take my word for it. So, yeah, I'm going to let it do its thing. 
seems pretty happy. There's a lot of leaves through here. I still have to clean all that up, but I'm just going to wait for the, the trees to finish their thing, and then I'll come through here. This was my zucchini bed, now completely at rest. The nasturtiums are still going like mad, and it's just lovely to come back here and see all these beautiful little blossoms that are greeting me. Potato bed, pretty much the same. I did leave the small hedge of French marigolds. This is gonna have to come down, but I like to leave it up and I like to let the seeds dry so that I can come through here and harvest seeds if I need to. Um, I'm pretty sure now that this is kind of in its final resting spot that I'm going to be able to um, expect some germination of any fallen seed next year. So hopefully I don't have to plant this one in. We can only hope, right? <clears throat> Here's my tomato bed, all clean. But look what we got here. This is a volunteer motherwort. So you're gonna be noticing a lot of volunteer herbs that have been popping up and I'm going to be leaving them and um, let them winter over. And then I will dig them up in the spring when they start coming back. And I think I might be making myself a dedicated medicinal bed, perhaps in the garden, we'll see. Things are still kind of going here. The Tithonia is looking lovely still, and there have been some logy bumblebees and butterflies that are still managing to work through all this cold dampness to get a little treat. And I do have a couple little Cosmos here still. Boy, are they troopers. They really hang on, don't they? Everything else has really been pulled up, guys. Again, I have left my little hedge here, but all my brassicas have been pulled. And if you look here, all of these little droopy seed heads are going to be just filled with seed. And after I'm done filming this, I'm gonna come through here and I'm going to harvest the whole lot of them so I can have plenty more. I would love to have each one of these beds have a bit of a, a hedge of these French marigolds. They really did a great job this year. Um, didn't really keep out the rodents, but <laughs> they looked pretty nonetheless. Moving right along. My pepper bed, you guys saw that in my last video. That's empty. This was the biggest change and was the most work, actually. This was my squash and uh, corn bed. I'm thinking this was not fun to clean up, incidentally. Um, it did take me a long time, but I like that it's done. <laughs> it's ready to go. And again, I have some of these volunteers. Here's some lemon balm here. I'm gonna leave that. Nasturtiums are still going. I have another lemon balm over here. Looking lovely. I have another one underneath. This was the squash trellis okay and a little baby right here lemon balm for days I do have one more butternut that's hanging on not butternut I'm sorry yes butternut I've got another butternut hanging on for dear life look at that in a few days this is the bed that I'm thinking long term with right here if you recall and you can kind of see it through all the debris that I have tarps lining the inside of this. This was going to be, you know, where my pumpkins were growing and they were running down from this, woo, this bed up here. Yeah, and they're running this way. So I'm thinking next year, I'm just gonna let this bed ride for the winter and then I'm going to take up all the tarp. I think I'm going to maybe take up this area here, this um, border, and I'm going to till this over. I think I'm gonna make this into a brand new growing area, something that I can plant in, as opposed to just let things grow over. All my bean canes are down. I moved my bags over here. This is where the gigantes were. So I'm letting these bags ride over the winter. 
Yeah. So all these beds are really, they're all clean. They're ready to go. I did manage to leave. I walked right past it. I did manage to leave this little morning glory. <laughs> this was a volunteer. And I will, I'm still getting blossoms on it. Okay, it's, it's late afternoon, which is why they aren't open, but yeah. I got some blossoms off of it still. I'm gonna let it go. We can just hang on just a little bit longer. That's all we want. Let's go into the tunnel now. You can see there's a big, some big changes in here. All right, hey. So things are still going in the tunnel. I moved a lot of these large planters in here because there are, I mean, these plants are still good. Really, there's still a lot growing on them, which is wonderful. So I thought I'd move them in here. I'm gonna close up those, uh, the windows so that we can uh, keep the heat in. But tomatoes are still producing. Look at that lovely yellow globe. And I've got some basil that's still hanging on for dear life. And I got eggplant over here. Let that ride. I got a blossom on here yet. It looks a little sad, but I wonder if anything will come of it. Holy basil. I need to harvest this now. Some parsley. Look at this parsley. Gorgeous. And I've got some more parsley over here. I have some green peppers that are still going. Oh, the abundance. I'm so happy. Things are up and running in here. And then here's some lettuce that I had planted. This is a bib lettuce. And look at the Mizuna. Oh my goodness. This is going to be gorgeous. And then over here, I've got some rocket or some, uh, sorry, random cord. Oh my goodness. Um, this is arugula. And it's taking its sweet time to get going, but that's okay. I would rather it take its time. I've got some chard in here and um, some purple sprouting broccoli. Oh, I do have some kale in here. So perhaps I can get some. This is the lacinato kale. Maybe I can get some this winter. Um, some rutabaga, which is starting to take off in here. Here's some of my chilies that are still hanging on. Bless their hearts. I've got some more eggplant. Two big pieces, two big beautiful globes of eggplant. And then this is purple sprouting broccoli. So this is beginning to put on a little weight as well. So I'm going to be putting some kind of a heat source in here. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to be. It might be propane. Um, it might be electric. But I want to get some kind of a heat source back here just to keep the freeze off of all of this stuff. I really want it to keep going. This is a bitter melon that I had planted. It's looking a little sad right now, but... Um, I think it's pretty much, <laughs> it's pretty much done. I don't think anything's going to happen with it. The same with my cucumber. Remember that cucumber I showed you? It hasn't really grown that much. I think we're done with cucumbers for this year. So, yay. Quite a bit of green in here still. Very pleased. The weather is not going to be getting any warmer. It's just going to start making a turn for the worse. I have a feeling so... I'm just going to let it go and see what happens. But oh my goodness, this tomatoes. I love, I mean, it's going to be November. It's going to be November in a couple of days and I'm still getting tomatoes. Oh my goodness. This tunnel is a blessing. It really is. And I'm really hoping that these braces stay up and do their jobs. All right. That was kind of a quick tour, guys. Let's head back into the shed and have a little chat. So that is the tour for October, which means November 
is not going to look much different. Perhaps um, there will be less leaves on the trees. Perhaps I'm thinking I'm, I've been doing these tours at the end of the month. So the next time we see each other, it's going to practically be December, which I'm thinking at that point, we're going to have some white stuff on the ground. I don't know. We'll see. This weather has been very odd. Last year at this time, um, we really didn't have many leaves on the trees. It was not, and there, I mean, it's pretty green out there still. It's very strange for this time of year. I remember back when I was a kid, after Halloween, like the day after Halloween, having to go outside and help my dad clean up the yard, the big final leaf cleanup, you know, get them all raked up thrown on the tarp and dragged back into the compost pile. But this, I mean, still a lot of green. It's very odd. So is this a harbinger of what winter is going to be like? I would love a mild winter. <laughs> really would. So not sure what's coming next. I would like to do a make do Monday, but I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to do it this week. Maybe, um, if it's not this Monday, it'll likely be the following Monday. just want to take some time. Um, I might be able to do some filming during the, the week when it's pouring rain. But right now, um, I am going to commit some of my free time to helping my sister, who is currently getting her house ready to sell. So um, I thought maybe I would, you know, spend some of my free time, especially if the weather's manky outside to, you know, help her clean up and get things ready to go so she can start showing her house because she is possibly fingers crossed, arms crossed, feet crossed, toes crossed, everything crossed. If she can sell her house, she is actually going to be moving on to a 20 acre farm. That's right, which may be something that might take my channel in a very different direction. If that's the case. So everybody cross your fingers and everything for her because that would be really wonderful if she could get this farm. It's yeah, it's a dream. It's a dream of all of ours, really. So take care, everybody. That's it for me. Um, like I said, I'm not sure what's going to be next, but <laughs> rest assured, if it doesn't happen on Monday, I'll be here a week from today. So take care. I hope you are all well. I hope you're all getting your gardens put to bed. I hope maybe some of you are still, you know, cranking out some food. That'd be great. And to all my friends south of the equator, summer is practically here for you. <laughs> and I am very, very envious. So, all right, I'm done. Take care, everybody. I hope to see you all really, really soon. So long.